video and to another organ. Today we are at St Cuthbert's Church in Billingham to look at this two manual organ. As usual, please do consider subscribing, please hit the like button and please leave a comment. Let's have a look. So this organ was built in 1839 by Summers and Barnes who were an organ builders in York. Um, it replaced an organ that was here previously which was built by Harrison and Harrison. Uh, the details of which can be found on the link in the description. This has, it's a two manual organ as you can see. It is a detached console. The pipe work uh, is right behind me here. Um, I do happen to really like detached consoles because you can get a good idea of the volume that you're making, how it compares to the congregational singing or the choir singing. I really do like detached consoles. Uh, and this really is a cracking little organ. This is a unit organ. It's made up of six ranks. Um, so all of these stops that you can see or tabs that you can see uh, are all drawn from six ranks of pipes, reeds, strings, etc. So let's, as usual, have a look at the stops. So on the great organ, which is actually split into Great one and two. Let's start with great one. We have a 16 foot open diapason. We have an eight foot diapason major, or it's large open diapason. And a small open diapason, or diapason minor. and the two foot principle we then move on to the great two uh, we have an eight foot raw flute An eight foot solitional. And a four foot stopped flute. A four foot salicet. And we have a mutation stop at two and two thirds. It's twelve. And the reed on the grate is an eight foot trumpet. <laughs> say that I get in trouble <laughs> moving up to the swell organ we have a 16 foot contra solitional foot Geigen diapason another eight foot raw flute an eight foot solitional a string A four foot Geigen principle. And a 
four-foot stopped flute. A four-foot sally set. Another mutation stop, it's a two and two thirds Nazard. A two foot Salicetina, I hope I pronounced that right. And the swell also has two, three reeds, I'm sorry. Uh, all of which are obviously taken from the same rank of pipes. We have the 16 foot double trumpet. We have an eight foot trumpet. And a four foot clarion. off we have a tremulant not sure that works we also have a few notes sounding through that shouldn't that one of the reed stops just playing through whether the stops on or not obviously a fault somewhere along the lines Moving down to the pedal board, which is a radiating concave pedal board with a balanced swell pedal. Uh, we have a 16 foot open diapason. A 16 foot Borden. An eight foot principal. octave and a 16 foot trombone a really lovely powerful organ actually it has it really does have some power uh, often you find with these unit organs that uh, the power is is, is quite limited but with this array of stops and it, it really does have some beef it's, uh... the manuals also have a series of thumb pistons uh, five thumb pistons on the swell and five thumb pistons on the grate which have been re preset sorry uh... Pistons, which I am assuming, yes, operate the pedal stops again in increasing volume, which are preset. And I can't see any way of adjusting the setting. <laughs> So 
So overall, other than those few contact problems where the reeds are sounding through when they shouldn't, this is a really nice organ. Uh, it's a, the, the, the electric action is lovely and soft and responsive. Um, it's nice to have that nice selection of thumb pistons. Um, it's nice the fact that it's detached from my point of view anyway. I do like detached consoles and this church overall is lovely. Unfortunately, this church doesn't have an organist at the moment. Um, so if you live locally and you are keen on an organ roll, then get in touch. And I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. And I'll also ask you again, please, to consider subscribing and to leave a comment and to hit that like button. So until next time, take care and I shall see you later. Bye for now.